Well, some projects take a day or two, some seem to take a month or two, and then there's those few projects that take a year or more to actually finish. But today is the day we are gonna finish the mineral feeder. But first, we have to go have some fun. Let's go look at the cows. So I built this thing I think more than a year ago now and uh, it's held up pretty well. It was actually sitting outside in the weather for a while and I do actually have the minerals here. Uh, I finally got my budding gear and placed the order and got them here and uh, we're going to get it, uh, get them labeled, get all the bins labeled so we know what's in them because I won't remember otherwise and get the minerals in here and get this thing out to the cows. So a quick recap on how this is supposed to work. We have all these bins in here. We're going to put different minerals in each one. And the idea is that the cow gets to come over and sniff and decide which mineral they want more of today. And supposedly that's good for the cow, it's good for the field, it should hopefully give them the ability to choose whatever the field happens to be deficient in. And then over time it's good for the field too because a good amount of that mineral ends up coming out the back end of the cow and back onto the field and helps replenish the field as well. So either way, it should be good for everybody. But in order for that to happen, we got to put the mineral in these bins. And before I go putting the actual mineral in any of these bins, I need to label them because there is absolutely no chance that I'm going to remember what is in each bin and plenty of them look alike. So to do that, what I'm going to try to do, there's many different ways of doing this that I've seen. I've seen people use cattle tags. I've seen people just paint things on there. I am going to try a wood burner in hopes that the act of burning the name or letters of the mineral into the wood yeah, hopefully makes it a little more permanent. So we're going to give this a try. This is the wood burner that I've got. Uh, you know, this is very cheap. I think this was like 10 bucks. So we're going to give this a try, see if I can burn the letters into this. And uh, assuming that it works, we'll go ahead and get started dumping mineral into here. Well, not bad for my first time ever using a wood burner. Um, I actually thought it was going to be a lot slower than that, but it's pretty quick, which uh, is a very good thing because I have 19 more of these to do. But uh, OH, and here is our mineral OH, which uh, apparently is an acid neutralizer. I won't pretend to know what all of these minerals are and what they're good for. I'm sure that there are uh, people who are far smarter than me at this who have picked these out. But um, we're going to get them in. Let me first get the rest of them marked and then we'll start dumping bags in. And for anyone who thinks there's any chance that I might have memorized all of those mineral names, uh, no, I cheated. I, I laid them out on the floor behind me in the order and the places that they will go in here. And that's what I was following when I was doing the letters. So yeah, let's get them put in.
Well, we have all our minerals in and they look so pretty in these nice, beautiful piles, which I'm sure will last all of 10 seconds once they're out there and the cows are licking them. It's good. We've got everything in. We need to get a top on this thing. So let's take a look at what materials we're going to use for the top. And the first layer of our top is going to be this material. This is essentially a yoga mat. I think it's technically called a gym mat or equipment mat or something like that. But the point is, it's rubbery. It'll stand up to rain just fine. And it's very soft. It's kind of soft and nice. Uh, the downside of it, of course, is it's actually rather light. It's not real heavy. And this is the material I had originally planned to use for the top just by itself. And the problem with it is it doesn't have enough weight uh, when there's wind. The wind just blows it right up and it actually stays up. So really not ideal for that. But as a first layer, nice and soft, it works pretty well. Um, and it's actually necessary and I'll explain why. And the next piece is this. This is a piece of rubber conveyor belt material. And it's, uh, I forget, was this 10, 10 millimeter thick, something like that. Uh, but anyway, it's pretty heavy. This weighs probably 20, 30 pounds right here. So this is gonna sit on top of that, and this is gonna do the job of keeping it down in wind and rain and stuff like that. Make sure it doesn't come up and stay up. Um, I would have liked to have used just this, uh, but there's a reason that I can't. And this is the reason why I cannot use just this nice piece of rubber belting. It's not long enough, and uh, not for lack of trying. I did look all over eBay and other places trying to find some place that would sell, at least at a reasonable price, uh, a piece of belting like this of a better length um, and better width, actually. But uh, couldn't find one. So this is what we're doing instead. We're going to put it on top. It's going to provide the weight and the strength to keep that nice, comfortable equipment mat down over the top of it in the rain. And should be nice. Cows should have no problem lifting it up. So let's get the screws out, get this thing screwed down, and we'll be ready to put it in the field. As you can see, the screws I'm using are not real big. These are actually just drywall screws, so nothing special. But um, put a lot of washers around them so that they can get a good grip on that piece of rubber. Hopefully, that stays nice and doesn't try to punch through. Uh, you know, if it does, we'll replace it, but uh, hopefully that'll be good. Well, that's the end of this project. It took the cows all of uh, about a minute to become curious enough to come up and take a look. We, we love how curious you guys are. It's great. I haven't seen anybody stick their face in it yet, but you know, there's time. So we've got a camera actually right over there that's staring at it. So we're gonna see how well it goes over the course of the next week or two. And uh, you know, hopefully they stick their head in and use it. We'll find out. But uh, in either case, that finishes our mineral feeder project. Um, we got a whole bunch of stuff to do. We got to do something about flies out here. So hopefully this year we'll be getting a bunch of uh, Muscovy ducks out here and we're gonna try to use them for fly control. You know, a lot of people will do pours and things like that, but um, we're trying to, you know, we don't wanna do chemicals and we wanna be organic. So we're not gonna do that, but uh, we're gonna try to get some ducks out here. What else we got? Oh, I got more equipment carts to build. I got more stuff to move around. And hopefully I might get to actually do some seed planting at some point this year, we'll see. But in either case, that's the end of this project. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you soon.